Hi, and welcome to Geocast, where you can walk your way through things that you can do with the Google Maps APIs. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about the geolocation APIs and how you can use them to locate devices that may not have a GPS, such as rapidly emerging breeds of Internet of Things devices, or of course, in places where GPS may not be available due to tall buildings or other obstructions. The geolocation APIs work by accepting the addresses and signal strengths of cell towers and Wi-Fi access points near you. From there, they can calculate a likely latitude and longitude for your device using a process called trilateration. It works like this. When you scan for access points near you, the APIs in your operating system will return the unique identifier for those access points as well as a signal strength. So when you have the signal strength and the frequency at which the access point transmits, there's a formula called the free space path loss. And using it, you can calculate a rough distance from that access point. Now, of course, this will only give you the distance from the access point. But if you have a number of them, then you can scan multiple points. And knowing the distance that you are from each, this will allow you to calculate where an overlap is. And from there, you can get an estimate for your location. The geolocation API has the coordinates of many access points and cell towers. So if you tell it the address of the points near you and their signal strength, then it can use this data to calculate your likely position using this technique. So let's take a look at how you do this. The easiest way is to scan for Wi-Fi signals near you. Most operating systems support this natively. In Linux, the command is iwdev wlan0 scan. Or on Android, you'd use a Wi-Fi manager that you can get from the system and set its scan results to a list of scan result types. You can then access data about signal strength and the identifier of the access points from there. Once you have the data, you structure it into a JSON file like this, listing the access points you've seen, their signal strength, signal to noise ratio if available. And then you simply call the geolocation API, passing it this data and your API key. Here's how that would look like with a curl command. If you're not familiar with the concept of an API key or how to get one, you can see so in the documentation at this link. Now, once you pass this to the geolocation API, you'll get a return value containing a latitude, longitude, and estimation. And the estimation is the rough distance that you are from that latitude and longitude in meters. This is because it's calculating your location by overlapping distances using trilateration, giving you a circle that looks like this. The accuracy value is the radius of that circle. And that's how you geolocate using Wi-Fi or cell towers. This will work in indoor scenarios or those where you may not see the GPS satellites, for example, in cities with tall buildings. Particularly exciting is the facility to geolocate Internet of Things devices, such as this one, a tiny computer the size of a stick of gum that has built-in Wi-Fi, or this one, a robot built on a Raspberry Pi device that geolocates by sensing Wi-Fi access points around it. A great complementary API is the roads API, where if you aren't pinpointed, but you know that the device is moving along a road, you can snap the readings to the road. Here's an example of where I took a drive with the robot in my car. The gray line links where the readings were taken, and geolocation gave me a latitude, longitude, and estimation. I passed these to the roads API, and then I got the blue line showing that I followed that specific road. That's the geolocation API. You can learn more at this link. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that Subscribe button to see more geocasts. <laughs>